fast forwarded through all the boring stuff. I've already cleaned my glasses. I've mixed my resin. It's literally about 10 minutes worth of stuff that no one cares about. <laughs> I have put a very small amount in two cups. In this cup, I have one drop of um, KS resin, liquid resin dye, and turquoise blue. In this cup, I have uh, one drop, actually two drops of white uh, liquid resin dye because I don't need very much. And then the rest of my resin, so it's KS resin liquid split. I've mixed 40 milliliters and I've put about an eighth of a teaspoon of the Sesso mica powder in aqua. And this is my base color on all four of these glasses. I'm just going to put um, with my finger, I'm going to paint it on a thin layer. You don't need a thick layer on wine glasses, guys. You really do not because you're painting it on. And. The effect is just beautiful. You don't need a thick layer because you're a little bit more careful with a wine glass when you use it. You're not going to like walk around a, you know, take a walk with it on the beach or whatnot or in the neighborhood. You're not going to walk around with a wine glass, face it, um, like you do with a tumbler. A tumbler gets thrown in your backpack. It gets thrown in the cup holder of your car, you need a little bit thicker layer of resin on something like that because it does get, um, not abused, but it does just gets a lot more wear than a wine glass. And honestly, if you put your wine glass down on the countertop or knock it against the counter, not saying you're careless, but like if you knock it over or whatever, if you not if you do that hard enough to chip the resin, you've probably broken the glass. So you're going to be a little bit more careful with a wine glass. And I, that's why I don't tape my edge because I want my top edge. I'm not going all the way to the top. I want my top edge to be really flowy and fluid like let me see if I can turn this without knocking everything over. Um, I want the top edge to be really organic. And um, y'all are going to watch me knot that over in a minute. But I want the top edge to be really organic and flowy like an ocean wave would be. And so I am just spreading these really evenly. All right. So this is my base color. Probably will be be a little bit more generous on these first two. This is really really pretty effect. So I'm using um, I'm using a pool noodle that I've cut to attach on my turner arm and watch the video on how um, I think I have it up. I, I don't remember if I'm still editing, but I I um, got a new turner and I modified the turner arms to just better suit my needs and make them more versatile. So versatile, versatile, and um, pretty sure I have it up. But if not, I'll have it up soon. So um, what was I saying? So I'm using a pool noodle to attach on the turner arm and that holds the glasses. Um, because quite honestly, the little foam blocks that came with the turner just don't really work well for me. Um, and then I put a piece of paper towel on the pool noodle that helps me and you see the color of the, um, the resin. That is a really, really pretty sea glass green probably my favorite color to work with all right i'm gonna put a little bit more on these what let me use the rest of this up on these i don't think i put a whole lot on these first two let me use it all up
and you're just painting it on. You're really using the resin like paint. This mica powder is so gorgeous. It's a, it's a sea glass green, but it has just this really shimmery color effect, almost like it's I don't know, it's not a it's not color shifting. That's not what I'm trying to say, but it just I don't know, just has other shades of blue kind of mixed in and every once in a while if you catch the light right, it comes out. It's super pretty. I'm just using all the resin up and just smoothing it out so I don't have any drips. Make sure to get the bottom. I'm not going to do the stem. Usually don't do the stem. Every once in a while I might do it. And I have an idea for the bottoms too on another video. All right, so there's that. I'm going to go ahead and pop the bubbles with my heat gun, low heat, high air. Helps to heat it up a little bit. I don't, I don't want very much on here. I want a super thin, thin, thin line. Okay. That was a little chunky. Let that come back. And I'm just going to do a white. Oh, that's too chunky. And I'm just going to drag it. Yeah, that'll do it. I'm going to drag that white. Okay. So I need to be really careful. I don't use too much. I need some for the other side too. I think I have more of the blue than I do the white. So I'm just going to kind of, I guess this is like a swipe. A really subtle look. It does kind of mix it up with the aqua, but just barely. Okay. Now I think the blue, I'm going to leave it. Do the other side. And we'll come back to that side. Torch it. Not torch it, but low heat. Okay. Let's maybe just a little bit. And I still don't know what to do about this blue. I don't know if I want to heat it or if I want to just kind of let it do its thing, let it do its thing, or if I should just go ahead and swipe it with my finger or swipe it with a stick. I think I'm going to swipe it with a stick just a little bit because I don't really want to heat it up with my heat gun because that's just going to thin it out too much it's going to heat up the resin too much i think just doing this is what i want to do and just kind of encourage these little 
ways naturally. Okay. Yeah, I like that. This color is so gorgeous. This chaos resin. Turquoise. Oh my gosh. I forgot the V's. Little swirlies. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. That's cute. Oh, I forgot to do it on this. That's okay. Alright, let's do this one. This resin, because it's a facet, it doesn't give me a whole lot of working time. If I was not using a facet, um, for sure, I would leave this colored resin to kind of do its own thing because the resin would stay, um, the resin would stay, um, shoot, what am I trying to say? Sorry, I'm concentrating. I have a hard time talking and thinking. Um, with normal resin, like a normal art resin, you have a longer working time. So the resin doesn't set as quickly. And so you're able to um, kind of let the, the resin flow by itself and create its own way in its own pattern so here we're kind of forcing it but it's a really really oh I did put some on here just a really cool look okay I am happy with that for sure so what I'm going to try on one set Is put this. This is a um, a one to one mix with gold alcohol ink and then pure, not pure. Um, it's ninety one percent isopropyl alcohol, so it just waters down the gold because you know gold is very dominant. And I don't know where I want to put it. I'm thinking along the edge of the blue because it's going to create a really Cool, almost emerald. Um, and I am dragging it. So I'm dragging. This is a needle nose dropper that I got on Amazon, I think on Amazon. And I'm dragging it. Dude, that is so pretty. Because I don't want it to be like so possessive if that makes sense I don't want to drop drops I want it to I want to control where it flows a little bit that's really pretty okay and I'm gonna flip this one around and I am just gonna let it do its own thing but I want to have a line somewhat controlled line here and then I'm gonna keep shaking it up there we go Just squeeze it as you, not squeeze it too hard, but squeeze it as you drag it. There we go. I almost feel like I want to add more. What do you think? 
maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's a little bit too much, but I'm going to go ahead and like it. And then these I'm going to leave by themselves. I'm not going to do a second line on these. All right, so let's let's clean this tip. Oh, because I don't want to get resin to plug it up and i'm going to put a little bit of heat on it just to pop any bubbles that might have come up let's take this off all right we're going to let this sit i am very happy with how these turned out they are just simple and elegant and fun and easy to do you're painting with epoxy resin that's all you're doing is painting so give it a try. It's very easy. I promise you'll be happy. These are great sellers at art and craft shows. Super easy. Doesn't take very long. A little bit of resin, a little bit of alcohol ink, and a little bit of time. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new and become inspired. Thanks again, friends. Bye. Sweet.